What up y'all, my name's Daniel and I post videos on luxury goods. To me, luxury can mean lots of things, such as this t-shirt that I got from Brandy Melville. It is like kind of vintage souvenir, like inspired, I guess. And this cute little uh, ring, flower ring that I got from ASOS. It was like 10 bucks and it's just a cheap little plastic ring. Um, it was, it made me think of like, 90s Chanel, so like one of those really expensive rings uh, that they had. So I like the candy colors, I don't know. Um, you can get a little peek, but uh, today I'm gonna be talking about this Burberry Onslow Tote, I think that's what it's called, and in the short handle version. I think there's a long handle version and like a wider kind of tote. Um, but this is like a pretty, it's a tote, but it's like a handheld one, if that makes any sense. It's kind of a weird bag when you think about it, but not weird in a bad way, you know, it's just different. Um, so before we get into that, if you're new here, welcome. And I really appreciate everyone. I know I say this all the time. Um, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but thank you for leaving comments and watching my videos and giving all the thumbs ups and just positive, you know, kind of attention. I appreciate it. And if you're coming from the Coach Facebook group, uh, welcome. Uh, sorry, today's not going to be about Coach, but there will be Coach stuff within the bag and on the bag, as we see with my little Rexy. I just love Coach accessories. So thank you again, and let's just get into it. Okay, so I feel like, to me, anything can be worn by anyone, you know, like, whether it says men's, women's, you know, unisex, gender inclusive, uh, that kind of thing, you know, you can wear anything you want. But, you know, if you feel like you tend to lean more towards those kind of uh, labels, then I feel like this can be pretty good for everyone, um, regardless of how you dress. I feel like today, I think typically I kind of have a masculine approach. Not really, that's not true. Um, I feel like overall my looks can be masculine sometimes, but then I have just like little kind of feminine touches to them, I guess, like this bracelet. And you know, this kind of like matches perfectly. Um, I didn't wear this today. I just kind of like slapped it on before the video, but I think it's really cute. And I have my Marc Jacobs, uh, the toy blocks necklace, and I'm wearing it as a choker. Uh, it's on the second adjustment. There are three. Um, I usually wore it on the loosest one, but because if you have this on the the longest one, it, it kind of goes into the shirt, so um, I didn't want that happening. So anyways, um, I feel like this can, you know, be across the board, and if you don't feel comfortable like carrying it by the handles, um, you could technically add a strap, you know, like let's say you hook it here and then hook it to the opposing side. Um, you could do that. Because of how the handles are set up, it's literally just like a little leather um, sewn around it. It really doesn't feel that intricate, like, you know, it, it does what it says on the, the container. It's just like leather folded onto it. So it's not really that complicated. And when you put the strap, I don't think it'll, you know, interfere too much with this. Um, this is technically not my bag. <laughs> it's my husband's, but I stole it from him because he didn't use it, so I was like, that's just sitting there, and if we're not gonna, I think we tried selling it, um, or we tried selling it back to Fashion File, and it just, you know, it wasn't worth it, because when you sell back to Fashion File, they take like what? They pay 70% of what you paid for, so it just wasn't worth it, so. In that regard, um, if you are, well, you are gonna have to buy a pre-loved, but, um, cause they don't make this anymore. I feel like it's a pretty respectable price, not cheap, you know, like these tend to go around, I think he got a good price on this. It was like 350, 355, like I said, which is not cheap, but you know, it's a Burberry bag and like this was in, is in extremely good condition. Am I seeing a little, 
little discrepancy on there. Okay, you see that? I'm looking at that, but yeah. Pretty, really pretty good condition. Not even pretty good, really good condition, like all over, you know? There's not like anything gross with it. Um, just like the leather is soft, you know, on the handles, but like aside from that, the interior was great. Um, so that's what it looks like inside. So yeah, I'm just gonna be taking you through the bag and kind of how I wear it. Um, I feel like with a plain outfit, even if you have like patterns going on, it would still work. I feel like it's a pretty versatile bag. Like I said, you could add a strap to it. Sometimes I do that, but my back been acting up lately. So any kind of crossbody is just not my, my zhuzh at the moment. Um, this is in the coated canvas Haymarket print. I don't know what year this came out, like I said. Um, it is great for a bag charm. And it's just the same throughout, really. It's kind of a simple bag. The interior, there are, there's a zip compartment in the back with a magnetic closure, or yeah, it is magnetic, it's not a snap. Um, and then on the other side, there are two pockets, and that's it. To me, the best, per the per most perfect tote is one that doesn't zip because the purpose of a tote for me is convenience and you just like chuck stuff in there and it's great. I would like to point this out before I forget. You can see that it says Burberry. Some of these um, have like the, I don't even, what is that, a horse? It will have this in like the gold foil there underneath where it says Burberry. This one doesn't. So at first I was like, did Fashion File sell us a fake? But then <laughs> I've noticed like that there are different variations to it. And sometimes this comes in black, I think. I love the brown though. It's called chocolate brown. And like the descriptions to me are, I know that the purpose of a description is to sell it, but like if I'm iffy about something and the description is nice, then I will definitely get it. <laughs> um, it's very convenient and I really love it. Um, I'm so glad that he bought this bag and I took it from him. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you what I have in here. Really, this is gonna be a no thrills video because <laughs> that's something you wanna hear, right? Um, yeah, it's just like a little toe. I, there's not really much to say about it. So I have my, I love these pockets too because I can put my phone and my keys. Um, so let me just, take you through. Um, I got my Marc Jacobs sunglasses, very neat. Um, and I had some snacks in the pockets as we do. I've got my AirPods, my really jacked up AirPods. Um, and the nice thing about this is that I can put like a coffee cup in there without, I mean, it's empty, but you know, I don't have to worry about like coffee residue coming out because if uh, the bag is, filled and I have the cup there, it stays, it doesn't move around. Uh, I've got a journal that I'm holding upside down and backwards, there we go. Um, and like, we're almost done with what I have in here. I've got my coach wristlet that I've talked about a million times and my wallet that I've talked about a million times that I love very much. It's holding up well so far, you know, let me see if there are any, I don't think that there are yeah, the, the glazing is kind of the same. There's like a teeny little little slit, but it's fine. And face mask. And in the zip compartment, I keep, I think, actually, there is a fashion file file in there, but I don't think it was the original one that came with it. Uh, just a piece of paper, there's a drawing there. Um, and some disposable flatware and the fashion file file, which I actually have used, like needed at one point. Uh, there is a little tag. Let me read this. Let me see what it says and then I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just looked at this tag for the first time ever and I think it's really cool. It says outer is 100% PVC. Well, the first thing says keep away from fire, which I think is a good tip, um, but it says outer 100% PVC and then it says trim is 
You know what, that just slipped. All right, give me one second. We looking at it right now. Trim 100% calf leather. So that's what you're getting. Oh, wow, okay, lining 100% cotton, accessories 100% metal. I have literally never seen a bag that is listing the materials on it. That's pretty cool. I like that attention to detail. It's like on a shirt, like that's what the tag looks like. And this was made in Italy. Um, there we go, it says made in Italy. And then let me show you what it looks like inside empty. That's it. Bam. That's all we got going on. I love it. And I love when bags have little details on them. This one just says Burberry on the snap. Let me see. Here's a test. Let's see what the zipper says, if it has anything. Nope, it says YKK on it. So that's a nice little sentiment. Uh, but yeah, I really love it. And I have a Louis Vuitton, I have the Troville, that's coated canvas. I have the Coach Shea, which is also canvas. There's this, and then my husband has a Neverfull in the Damier Aben. So I kind of have canvases from different brands across the board, um, and also the Coach Outlet canvas. So I'm gonna say my opinion can has some ground to stand on. And I really like this one. I think I might like it the most. Out of, I'm sorry, coaches, but I think I like this one the most out of all of the ones that I have. I just love the green and the texture. Do you see that? It's it's very like, I don't know, there, there's a lot of texture to it. And I just, I love the sound of that. This is being an ASMR video. I like those colors together, that's cute. Um, but yeah, I just love that sound. The canvas is really nice and there's no feet on the bottom. It's just like that. Um, the Due to the nature of this product, um, it could be misshapen. It kind of settles, like it pools like that. And I really got nothing else to say about it, man. Um, let me just fill this baby right back up and I'll get back to y'all. Okay. I know this is not the most optimal orientation, but working with what we got. Okay, so we got cap, oversized t-shirt, slim jeans, they're still a little bit too big on me. Um, this was the smallest one they had. And I have these cool Nike Air Force Ones. They're dirty, okay. So they're actually really cool. Let me show you if you can see. Um, they're like pixel, the Nike check is like pixelated and so is the, you know, it'd be easier if I just showed you a picture. Anyways, okay. So this is what it's like handheld. We know that I like to do crook of the arm. There is a very generous opening, you know, with the strap drop, that's what I mean. Very generous and also could be flexible because this leather is not stiff at all. I don't know what it's like when it's newer, but, um, it is very soft. You can see like the, the wrinkling through, not wrinkling, creases, I don't know, whatever, but it's not like gross or anything. So this is what it's like over the crook of the arm. Can we get the, the shoes too? Yeah. So that's what it looks like there. And then hand, hand. Um, if you do have a strap on it, like it's gonna like, for me, when I have my straps, it hangs around like down here. I don't really like how it looks crossbody or anything, but I don't know. If you're fine, if you're fine with that, then all right. Like that's what it'll look like crossbody. Um, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really care for that. Um, also, this could be prone to color transfer, probably. You know, that's the case with everything, I guess. But um, yeah, just pick a side. You know what you want the front and the back to be. I change which side is the front and the back. Like before this used to be the back, but now I have it as the front. And typically I can't do that with bags. Sorry, this portion is really long, but yeah, cute. I dig. 
It's really easy to use. I just love it. All right, let's close this video out. I forgot to mention how I store it. Um, because it's just like a, a square, it's really easy to store, you know. Um, just put like a decorative pillow or just like any pillow that you have. You don't even need to use a pillow. You can just like get a t-shirt or a towel or something, like roll it up and you know, however you wanna do that. I mean, it's really, and then like throw a pillowcase over it. You really don't need to have a whole bunch of fancy stuff with this. Um, you do want to, I would say, like stuff it when you're not using it because with that kind of material, I think it, once it folds too much, um, it's not gonna really be excited to change how it is, much like certain people like myself. Um, so if you were considering this bag, I hope this video helped. Um, maybe there are vid other videos about this, but like I just did like a quick, YouTube search and I feel like I didn't see anything or maybe that was a different Burberry bag I don't know But like I said, I feel like the stuff that I talk about not to toot my own horn or anything But I feel like I can talk about stuff that other people don't generally talk about um, But then at the same time, I'm pretty much a basic bitch. I mean look at what I'm wearing um I don't know, I've just kind of been into this vibe. Backwards cat makes me feel cool. Okay, so I hope this helped. Um, thank you to everyone subscribing. If you're from the Coach Facebook group, welcome. Thank you. Sorry today wasn't about Coach, but you saw all the Coach goodies outside and inside. And if I were to add a strap, that would be Coach. So that's all I got to talk about. I'm excited to see you guys again next time. Don't know what I'm going to talk about, but we'll figure it out as we get there. <laughs> okay, thank you again. I'll see you. Bye. Thank you.